So, I'm eating dinner late today because of everything that's been going on in Hawaii. If you didn't know, I'ma tell you. So I made, oh you can't see it, the chongyun noodles. It's like, um, supposed to look like this. And they're instant because it's super late. I'm really tired. It's been an exhausting day for me. I'm over this. I'm over this all. Oh. Okay. We're gonna put up the water. I haven't done these in a really long time, so hold on guys. So I just put water I just put water in here. And now I'm going to put it in the microwave. I have not touched one of these in a really long time. How long do I microwave this for? Reads the ingredient. Reads the thing after she's done putting it in. Open the lid. Remove soft package. And add room temperature. Water and fill the line. Cook for five minutes in the microwave. And let it sit. And do not drain. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. I honestly don't know how this microwave works, but that's how it works. Anyways, so while we're waiting for that, I will tell you a little story of what happened today in Hawaii. So, around 8 o'clock or so, um, my mom wakes me up and... She, she wakes me up and she's like, Monica. Oh dear. Okay, sorry. My mom was on the phone, so I couldn't exact. So my mom comes in my room and she's like, taps, like she like wakes me up and she's like, Monica, this isn't a drill. There's a missile coming our way. You need to grab a bag, pack some clothes and stuff. And meet in the living room. So, uh, so I was like, what? And so I'm like, I'm still lying in my bed, kind of just like, I don't know what to do. I'm just tired. I just want to sleep. It's a Saturday. And so, I'm just kind of like, what? So, and my mom's like, oh. I was like, no, this isn't a drill. We've got five minutes or less before it comes. And I'm like, oh great, I'm going to die on a Saturday. Woo, no school. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways, I got all my stuff together. We were waiting in the living room. People were calling us, texting us, telling us, oh, I love you. And oh, I'm so glad that we were friends. Or I'm glad that, you know, we were cousins. And all oh, people were just like. You know, like, well, I got text messages from certain people. Actually, not a lot. I only got a few. But, anyway, so it was just, like, really hectic. And then later on, kind of towards, like, 9 a.m., it was, like, I saw it on Twitter. Like, it was, like, it's false alarm, it's false alarm. So then we finally watched the news, and they were, like, oh, it's a false alarm. And, like, someone triggered something. Who knows what? Somebody going to get fired. And so that all happened, and yeah, but after that, like, it was just like, and then I finally got the, I finally got the false alarm, false alarm, or drill, so that was really stressful, but it was just like, wah, like, honestly, like, from someone living on an island, it's like super stressful. Anyways, so but like honestly, like people in Hawaii, like you don't understand. Like I don't know if people like maybe it's just me, but like deep down inside, I have a living fear of that. Like something bad is going to happen. Like literally, you get woken up in the morning to an alarm to. A warning that there's going to be a missile that's less than five minutes away 
and you've only got this much time to get yourself prepared like that is like intense like it's like people in like hotels were like going frantic people at home were going frantic like we're an island like we're an island like there's no no way you can like there's no shelters there's no nothing it's just like we don't have like bomb shelters we don't have like you know it's just like it's because like you know we don't really it was it was a really scary reality check that something like that could happen and i had so much anxiety like i had like a panic attack and then i had like i like i couldn't go out like honestly i'm traumatized from this experience like i don't want to go out like i i had a dance competition and i i didn't go to it. Um, I mean, also I had schoolwork to do because I mean there was no bomb coming to get me, so like I had to do my schoolwork. Um, but it was just like really scary, you know. Like, I mean, I bet like people that were visiting Hawaii were probably like, what? Like what? Like, what? like but people that live here, like, I don't know if it's just me, but like I live in the fear every day. Like I live in this fear that something like this that happened this morning will happen and that's just like scary like you don't you don't know you don't and it's it's scary and it's well oh, hold on my food's ready i'm gonna go grab it i'll be right back <laughs> this is why i don't trust myself with food and i trust myself with food but it's like making it i don't trust myself with it mad when I was like when they were like oh sorry like Like, that is just some, something, like, super scary that, like, you know, I think it's, like, a fine, I think for me, I found it really scary because I normally hear about, like, bomb threats and missiles and stuff like that in, like, the mainland or, like, other parts of the world, you know? I don't, I don't hear about it here in my my home my home you know because hawaii is so isolated you know like it's just it's isolated we're isolated you know so it's like when you when we hear about it it's like what the heck who's trying to who's trying to mess with it who wants to mess with you know anyways it's just very I can tell you that I'm I'm gonna be really honest. I'm a little traumatized after this event. <laughs> like like tra like traumatized, like downright traumatized after this event, like my whole siblings, like, you know, they went out and they did their thing and stuff. I I couldn't, I just my living fear was just, has just happened, you know? And that's just really, it's just like really scary for me, you know? I never, I never predicted it to happen. Luckily, it's a false alarm but I definitely live every moment traumatized after this experience like I don't think I'm going to be able to survive the rest of the year but who knows maybe maybe like 
things will be lightened up and we won't die at the end of the year. We'll, we'll all still survive and happiness and etc. I'm so hungry. Um, yeah. It's just, I guess, living in this moment is just, I think from now on I'm just gonna live every moment like that situation, like this morning situation. Like, you know, I'm gonna live every moment excited to do whatever it is that I have to do. Because I don't know what's gonna happen. While I wait for this, I'm going to eat my house. I'm going to eat this. So, but, anyways. That is my little rant, I guess. It's not really a rant, it was more just talking and, I don't know, it's, this is just a really hard topic to talk about, you know. Like, especially for, like, people in Hawaii, like, a lot of people are, like, super pissed, like, although I can say the outcome, there are so many memes that are, that are just going at it. Like, there's so many people that have so many memes that are just... Uh, people, people, people! Yeah. You know, I like, I'm one of those people that meme moments, so I can't, I can't say much, but... It was just an interesting experience, I guess. It definitely had me thinking, what if this was the last day? You know? So. Anyways, I hope you all had a wonderful day, though, wherever you are. And. Mm. 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 I hope you guys have. A wonderful rest of the day. And I guess always live in the moment. Always live in the moment. So I'll see you guys in my next I don't know what to call this story time, I guess. Um, um all right. Bye guys. I'm still reading. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to work out so, so I'm going to have to do like so many like, oh, too hot for me, I mean I'm hot but this is hotter, yeah, mm. Anyways, I'm gonna finish my food. I'll see you guys later.